Hello, my wonderful people of Biafra, great people of Biafra, how are you doing today? Hope you are doing good in the name of Chukwo Kikabiyama. You are welcome to Biafra Unite. This is the place we preach the Biafra gospel to reach the whole world. Today, we've got a trending news for every one of us, and the headline reads, Surprise, 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 Nyangodo repent, support break up of Nigeria. Hear the news in details. But before we go on to the analysis and the details of this very news, I want you to watch this wonderful video so that you may understand what we are talking about. And as you enjoy this video, don't hesitate, my people, to subscribe to Biafra United channel. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon that you may be notified anytime we publish any news on YouTube. Okay, here we go now. No, not watch it. He excelled every one of us who has occupied this position in his fearless and robust representation of Igbo grievances. He gave our young people unrestrained support in the articulation of our grievances and our, our desire for greater self-governance. As we bury Justice Ozobu, I call on Ndiwo to rededicate ourselves to the principles which Ozobu stood for. Our country no longer guarantees equal treatment for all her citizens. If you are a Fulani headsman, you can carry firearms without license. If you are a Hizba police in Kano, you can carry firearms without reproach. If you belong to the civilian JTF in the Northeast, you can carry firearms. If you are a Northern Fulani, you can exceed your term of office as Chief of Army Staff or Chief of Air Force in violation of our establishment rules and laws. Oh my God. If you are in Amotekun or Neighborhood Watch in the Middle Belt or Eastern Nigeria, the Attorney General will turn himself into a court and declare it illegal for you to operate, let alone carry arms. If you are from the Southeast and you are elected a governor, the Supreme Court can allocate votes and take away your victory, even when your opponent, who was voted for the same day as the state legislators, could not win a single state assembly seat for his party. If legislators abandon their party, in the currency of their tenure and in violation of extant court decisions, the Attorney General goes to sleep. What would Ozobu have done in circumstances like this? He would condemn them. He would condemn the treatment of IPOB as a terrorist organization and the protection and the arming of Fulani headsmen. I will always follow Ozobu's footsteps and condemn this discriminatory treatment of our people. Nigeria is failing as a state that guarantees equal treatment for all her people. Nigeria is failing as a state that can conduct transparent elections. Nigeria is failing economically. We need a national conference to turn away the constitution imposed on us and to restructure our political system. Otherwise, we should agree to disagree and go our separate way. <laughs> I will end this speech by thanking all of you, greatest the leader of our uh, nation, honor our great leader ever, and by promising you that in the last 11 months of our tenure, we in the present of Hanese leadership shall dedicate ourselves to the service of Ibuji in the footsteps of Justice Ozobu. Before the end of our tenure, we shall invite you again, when we shall make a posthumous award to our departed father as one of the pillars of the I thank you for your kind attention. And I say goodbye to our illustrious father, leader, be great, president of the world. May your soul Amen. Amen. So that is exactly what happened, my people. This very statement was credited to Nyangodo during the burial of one of the elder statesmen in Igbo land called Justice Ozobu. So Nyangodo has stated that Nigeria is no longer conducive for the people of Biafra, that a full headsman terrorist group were allowed to carry sophisticated weapons 
shooting sporadically whenever they see farmers on site and killing and maiming and raping the villagers in the Biaf in Biafra land and then the Yoruba leaders try to form a security called the Motekun and the Fulani Kabaos who threw their mouthpiece called Ab Abubaka Malami, the, one of the sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria, condemned the Moteku in totality and thereby calling it illegal. And then, before then, Nyangodo said they had already proscribed IPOB and thereby calling them a terrorist organization. So now, my people, the time has come. First of all, if you could recall, two weeks ago, there was a statement credited to Nyangodo where he said that, uh, that the, Ibo, the, the Ibos are no longer interested in Nigeria that the Biafrans are no longer interested in Nigeria, that it is time for us to come together to fight for our right. And then what is our right? Our right is Biafra. So, this time around, he has come out boldly on a video to make this very statement. Although, there's a place he talked about restructuring. But I want everybody who is close to Nyangwodo to let him no, let him make him to understand that we, the indigenous people of Biafra, I want to sound it categorically for Nyangwodo to understand what we stand for. We stand for Biafra, we don't care about restructuring. It is better for him to come out clear to say what he stands for. I don't want in a way of being hypocrisy. I don't want in a way to stand for Biafra and standing for Nigeria restructuring. To stand for Biafra and thereby speaking about restructured Nigeria because we are not interested with anything that has to do with the zoo. The zoo is not a place where something good comes out of. Anything that comes out of, of the zoo must be something connecting with animals. So... Even Nyangwodo is still talking about restructuring. He must go to Daura to talk about restructuring. But if he wants to be clear, let him come out clear and say what he stands for. If you stand for Biafra, then we will un understand you. Then you have to make it open, open, open confession. Then we will understand that now you are back as a Biafra man. But if you are still talking about restructuring, why talking about IPOB prescription and talking about the mayhem and the injustice going on in Biafra land, then we are not with you. We are not together. We cannot speak with both sides of our mouth. We are Biafrans and we stand for Biafra restoration. We are fighting for Biafra restoration. Absolutely nothing we left behind. Nothing. I mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. We are not leaving any stone unturned. Every stone must be turned until we get Biafra. Or else every damn thing in that zoological republic of Nigeria will get down. Every damn thing, including the Fulani Hetzman Terrorist Group, Mieti Ala Terrorist Group, Arewa Youth Forum Terrorist Organization, Northern Nigeria Terrorist Organization, Northern Nigeria Youth Terrorist Organization, and then the dreaded Boko Haram terrorists. Nothing will be left unturned. By the time the, the Biafrans march, the whole world will know that we are serious on what we are doing. And this is no longer during the time of 1967 to 1970 when the British and the, and the, and the Egyptians helped Nigeria to, to subdue Biafrans. Things have changed. America now is watching. Israel is watching. Japan is watching. The whole world is watching everything that is going on in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. I want them to understand it clearly. All those people who call themselves Igbo leaders, if you know you stand for Biafra, make it clear so we can work together. But if you are still telling us about restructuring, we are going to chase, send you to Daura where you belong when we actualize Biafra, which is inevitable.
So I'm using this very medium to call all our Biafran brethren, all our Biafran tribes, wherever you are located in the Old Eastern region. You can see now that those that call themselves our leaders are gradually waking up from slumber. So I urge them to wake up completely, including the governors in, the Biaf in Biafra land. They should wake up completely and support what we are doing. They should throw their egos away. Let us achieve Biafra, then we will move forward. So I am using this medium to call all our brothers, every tribe in Biafra land. Whether you are Igbo, Ijo, Ikwere, Abo, Isoko, Urobo, Efik, Kalabari, Idoma, Igala, Igede, uh, Igede, Ibanke, which is Ibakre, Kwale, Ibibio, wherever you are located in the old eastern region of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, you are a Biafran. Come together, let us fight together and achieve our goal, which is Biafra.